guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to just do a full face I have a lot of stuff that I want to try out I was kind of holding off because you guys know I just did a shop my stash so I like to use my shop my stash stuff on a regular basis but I got a lot of stuff I want to try out so yeah that's what we're gonna do today I have two palettes here though I haven't decided if I want to go colorful or if I want to go you know a little something a little bit softer not so dramatic but even with the less colorful palette you guys know I still like to go dramatic so I did grab my glam light what is this the ice cream dream palette and I also have my Huda Beauty not a nude not a nude naughty nude palette so I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to play in but before we get started I want to try out these elf hydrating booster drops i got these in my trend move box that i got with all the elf skincare goodies and i'm just curious you know to see how this feels on my face i know you can use this just to kind of add an extra boost of hydration so i just want to see how it feels i'm curious so it just looks you know super clear like in the jar and it feels like a serum, you know, your typical serum. So it feels nice enough. It does just feel like a typical serum. Nothing, you know, out of this world or super duper moisturizing or hydrating. It just feels like a typical serum, which is not bad. Um, it did add a little bit of hydration to my skin, but like I said, just like a normal serum. Next, I also want to try out this title, Sunday Riley. It's the Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I typically really like water creams a lot, um, but I'm used to them looking more kind of clear and I don't know, like jelly-like, I guess. This one is a little bit different. <laughs> Hopefully it's supposed to look that way. It kind of looks like some type of avocado cream. And it smells like uh, kind of like an avocado mask or something but I'm gonna try this out today and see how it feels well, it's kind of thick it actually feels like a combination between a water cream and a regular moisturizer because it is thicker than the typical water creams that I'm used to Yeah, you definitely don't need like a whole lot of this. This is super thick. Okay, so this is definitely adding a lot of moisture and hydration to my face and it feels really, really good. Okay, so now that my face is nicely moisturized and hydrated, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some brows so we can move into the eyes. I'm gonna use my Pure On Point Pencil and I'm going to clean it up with some of my wet and wild concealer okay you guys so I do have a new eyeshadow primer to try out today this one is from Fenty Beauty it's called the pro filter amplifying eye primer so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out let's see what it looks like okay so it's in a cute little Fenty you know usual shaped bottle looks just like the face primer really really cute and that is what it looks like on the wand interesting it's been so long since I have tried a new eyeshadow primer that I'm kind of like a little concerned <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette because I did get this one first. So I wanna try it out and I kinda wanna play with some color today. Um, this is what it looks like, just in case you haven't seen it already. Very, very pretty colorful palette and there's some really, really gorgeous shimmers in here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some type of a rainbow look. So I think I'm gonna start out with this yellow in my inner corner.
Okay, so next I'm going to go into the shade here, which is Red Velvet. It's kind of like a pinky, corally type shade. It really doesn't look like red to me. <laughs> yeah, it looks more like pink. And there's a lot of fallout. I don't think this is the best eyeshadow primer for this particular palette. I think probably my P. Louise would have been a better base just because it's more opaque and easier to blend on. But we'll see how this goes. I'm sitting here watching the clock because I'm filming this and also trying to stay on top of the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collab drop. So hopefully I don't miss it while I'm filming. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into this darker berry type shade, which is Black Cherry. Very, very pretty. Oh, that's pigmented. And I'm just gonna drag this out a bit on the outer corner. Oh, that color is pretty. I like that. Okay, it says I got my order, so hopefully I'll be getting my RBK and ColourPop collab stuff soon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease, do a little bit of a swoop using my cut crease canvas. This is in the shade Halo, which is just white. So let's cut this crease. Okay, so now that I have my cut crease down, I want to go into some of these shimmers. So I think I'm going to start with this beautiful green shade, which is called Birthday Cake. And I know it'll probably look better if I use my fingers, but since I have these nails on, that's not happening today. So let's just go in with the brush. Oh, that's still very pretty, even with just the brush, and I didn't even spray it. Next, I'm gonna go in with the blue and then the purple. And this is Cotton Candy and this is Gelato. Now, you guys, I changed my mind. I was going to go into the lighter purple, but I think I'm gonna go into this darker purple instead and just add a bit of depth on that outer portion of this cut crease. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a wipe and just clean up that edge on the outer portion of my eyes. Okay, so let's move on to the face right quick. I'm going to be trying out a primer that I've never tried before. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer uh, Longwear Foundation Grip. <laughs> so. Let's see how this goes. This must be a little sample that I got from Sephora or something because it's in this cute little tube and that's what it looks like. So it is absorbing into my skin nicely. I wonder if as it dries down it's going to get a little bit tacky. So I'm gonna let that dry down for a second and see how it feels. Okay, so it's dried down a little bit and mm, it's very slightly tacky. Not super sticky or anything. It's just slightly tacky. It actually feels quite nice for a primer. Now I did pick up some of the Tarte um, Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Concealer. I got this at the Ulta 21 days a while back ago for half price. 
and I wanted to try it out as a concealer but because the shade is darker than I typically use for a concealer I'm going to use this um, to kind of cover up some of my dark circles before I go in with foundation so I'm just going to use a little bit of this and I'll list all the products that I'm using down below along with the shades and all that stuff because y'all know I can barely see so I'm just going to put just a little bit to see if I can handle these dark circles a bit. I've never really been a, you know, a tart shape tape user, so So the color actually does look a little bit brighter on my skin than I thought it would. I thought it was a little bit darker, so I probably could use this as just a concealer. But right now, I'm just going to focus on my dark circles. And some of this dark um, hyperpigmentation around my mouth, as you can see. So for foundation, I do have this Lip Bar Fast Face Skin Serum Foundation that I've never tried before. Um, I don't know, this packaging is really... Not my vibe, but we're gonna see what happens today. It has a little brush tip and that's what it looks like and I do have the shade 501 I believe So I'm guessing this is like a twist up or something or maybe a pump what is it? I don't know. I hate tricky packaging. Oh, okay, so there is like a pump action here I can hear it there it goes <laughs> so yeah it's not as bad as some other applicators but let's see yeah this little brush applicator is not my favorite so far color match is very good it really is I think the color match is really good for me it's just so thick mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go in with my sponge just to see if I can mm, get it to blend out a little bit better than that little brush okay so this is what the coverage looks like basically you know one layer I like the color match. I think the color match is good. It just feels a little bit thick, a little bit heavy on my face. And it is a very thick foundation. So that's what the brush looks like after me using it. Pretty nasty. So to add just a little bit of brightening under my eyes and around my face, I am going to go in with a little bit of my Juvia's Place Concealer. This is not new. Okay, you guys, so next I'm going to try this new Soul Body Bronzing Balm from ColourPop. I don't know, it's just kind of interesting to me when I saw it because I've never used a bronzing balm. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be super duper greasy, but just add like a little bit of warmth to my face. So I'm going to try it with my sponge. And I'll just do this half of my face so I can see if there's a difference. I would think this product might be for someone who likes to have a more just kind of like natural healthy glow um, for their makeup finish as opposed to someone who powders up a lot like I do but I just want to see what it looks like underneath my powder. Are we seeing a difference yet? Seems like I see a slight hint of color. I'm not going in too, too ham with it, you know, because I want to get a feel for it first. 
pan. I don't want it to be too greasy. I can see it. I can see the slight hint of bronziness. Let me know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. It smells nice. It kind of smells like a tropical vacation. I think it looks nice. Very subtle though. Very, very subtle. So if you're someone who wants like a nice, light, subtle bronzing, this might be good for you. It doesn't feel too greasy or heavy on my face either, so. Okay, so let's go ahead and powder up. I'm going to be using my Becca Hydra Mist Powder today. I haven't used this in quite a while and I wanted to play with this today. So I'm just going in with some of this under my eyes. You guys know this Becca Hydra Mist powder is like one of my absolute favorites. It doesn't stay Hydra Misty forever, but even after the cooling sensation is gone, it's still a very nice powder. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Iman Pressed Powder, and this is the shade Earth Dark. Okay, you guys, I want to try out this Beauty Bay bronzer or contour shade, really, that I got. It's the shade Button, and this one is a little bit, well, it's a lot a bit darker <laughs> than the bronzing shade that I picked up. So I wanted to, ooh, that is dark. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to be super duper careful with this. I just want to add a little bit more chiseling. Ooh. Just a little bit more. Okay, so that's enough. Just a little bit. I don't want to go too ham with it. And I'm glad it's not like super duper like dark to where it's looking black. I can handle that. Okay, so yes, this shade button, it's definitely taking me to <laughs> that sandy beach vibe. I just got me a tan, all of that good stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So this is actually a really, really nice, like, darker shade of bronzer. Okay, so ColourPop and Beauty Bay definitely came through with adding the warmth and the bronze to my face today. I'm not mad at either one of them. The ColourPop one, the bronzing balm, very, very soft, very, very subtle. And this one just takes it to the next level for powder. Okay, so let's do a little blush and highlight. I wanna use my Sun Kissed um, Duo Blush from Folklore. These are like the dupes or copycats for the, can't think of the name of it, but you guys know which one it is. I'll put it on the screen. So this one is really, really pretty. This one is 06. And I, I'm gonna go in with the matte side. And these are very pigmented, you guys. So you gotta be careful with these. I always overdo it. So I'm gonna try chill today. I'm using that one dip for both sides of my face. As you guys can see, it is very pigmented. These blushes are such a really, really nice, affordable option um, compared to those other ones. They are just like really nicely pigmented. And for highlight, I'm gonna try out my new MAC um, Holiday Collection. This is the Flair for the Dramatic Extra Dimension Skin Finish. <laughs> I've never tried one of these before and it is super duper pretty. It's like you almost don't even wanna use it, but I'm gonna use it today, okay? <laughs> So 
so it's almost like one of those it really does look like just a nice sheen on your skin and very pretty and it's one of those ones where you might even want to like spray your face before you highlight just to kind of get it to soak in I'm kind of rubbing it in with my finger a bit but it still looks very very nice okay you guys so I'm going to put on some of my beauty creations lashes and then we can finish up this eye look the lips and talk about what we use today okay you guys so I want to keep my lower lash line kind of simple but still have a pop of color so I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild um, eyeliner pencil what color is this Ooh, sapphire and ice and for my lower lashes I'm gonna go in with this little sample of Fenty Beauty Mascara that I got from Sephora. <clears throat> so for my lips, I am going to keep them a little bit more natural, a little bit more neutral today, because I want to play around with some of these lipsticks that I got from Glam Light in the little chocolate bar. If you guys saw my haul video, you saw the little chocolate bar packaging. So cute. So I want to try those, but I'm going to line my lips with this Glory Lip Liner from the Tammy and Revolution collab. I haven't used this liner in a while. I forgot how dark it is. I still like it though. Okay, so the Glam Light um, Chocolate Bar Lip Kit came with three different lip products. Um, I think one is a matte liquid lipstick, this one here, and then it also came with like a, you know, semi-tinted light gloss, and then it also came with like a shimmery type gloss. So let me go in with the matte lipstick first, and it's cute. They have a little mirror on here, and it's shaped like a triangle very very cute I think I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of lip oil just a tiny bit so this lipstick isn't like crazy dry and it actually kind of smells like chocolate I can smell it now that I'm putting it on is very comfortable with the lip oil underneath. I'm not really into the matte lipsticks that much anymore. I like playing around with them because they come in so many beautiful colors, but just straight up matte lipsticks on a regular basis, they're very uncomfortable and dry to me. So if you just put like a little dab of lip oil on your lips beforehand, it kind of helps to make them a little less uncomfortable. So I think I'm actually just going to go in with the kind of like shimmery gloss. I don't want to put two glosses on, so let's try this one out. These wands are pretty small, which are not my favorite, but it is what it is. I have to keep dipping in to get product because it's so small. This one has a scent to it as well, but it doesn't smell good to me. It's very imitation-like. Hmm. It's actually really pretty. A little sticky, not very, very sticky, just a little bit, not annoying. And it feels quite comfortable right now, so yeah, not bad. I don't like the wand, it's too small and I have to dip in too many times to pick up product, but I think it's really pretty. So for setting spray today, I'm going to try this Milk Makeup Setting Spray. This one is called the Grip Set and Refresh Spray, so it's kind of scary with the, <laughs> with the grip in the name of it, but we're going to try it out. And this stuff looks very interesting, I don't know if you can see that separation I'm assuming that's some type of oil in there that's the light green color very interesting I don't know but I'm gonna try it so 
so this is the final look for today's try on you guys i tried out quite a few new products well new to me at least and i really like for the most part how everything performed um the jury is still out on the foundation i think it is a really good color match for me but it's a little heavy i i can feel it <laughs> you know i know i have a lot of makeup on but you know i know when i can feel my foundation and when it's you know a nice light coverage i can feel it so it is a thicker foundation so that is you know to be expected and the coverage is really nice actually so the jury's still out on the foundation i'll have to try it a few more times to really get a feel for it wear it and all that stuff but the color match i really really like the palette i love it i love the colors in this palette i mean they are really nicely pigmented the shimmers are beautiful and you guys saw i didn't even wet my brush or anything i just tapped it on and it is really pretty and vibrant and colorful so i really really like that i really like this palette and i actually want to play with it some more it's so stinking cute and i really like this eye look very very bright and colorful that's about it i pretty much liked everything else that i used i will list everything in the description box just in case you want to try it out for yourself and that's it so thanks so much for hanging out with me to do this makeup try on today full face of all kind of stuff <laughs> don't forget to hit that like and i will see you on the next video Toodles.